हेलो एवरीवन यू आर वाचिंग फार्मा कोगनाइज यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू जी पैट एंड नाइफर एग्जाम सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज यूज्ड एज अ रेड पॉइजन ऑप्शंस आर ए यूरोपियन स्क्विल बी रेड स्क्विल सी इंडियन स्क्विल डी अमेरिकन स्क्विल आंसर इज रेड स्क्विल Second question is lupinin and anabasine alkaloid is biosynthesized by option A leucine option B lysine option C phenylalanine and option D is isoleucine from amino acid lysine the alkaloid derived are anabasine lupinin isopalatrin from phenylalanine these are ephedrine and mescaline and from isoleucine Lotostrelin is biosynthesized. So our correct answer is B. That is lysine. Our third question is: In wasaka, which type of stomata are present? Option A, anisocytic. Option B, diacetic. Option C, anomocytic. And option D, actinocytic. Anisocytic stomata are present in Belladonna, Stramonium, and Datura. diacetic type of stomata are present in peppermint wasaka and spearmint anomocytic type of stomata are present in lobelia digitalis hemlock and actinocytic type of stomata are present in buchenia lanjans prang so our answer is diacetic so in wasaka diacetic type of stomata are present our fourth question is Which of the following is GABA B agonist? Options are fenclofen, option B baclofen, option C seclofen, and option D all of the above. As we know, fenclofen is antagonist for GABA B receptor. Baclofen is agonist for GABA B receptor, and seclofen is antagonist for GABA B receptor. So our correct answer that is GABA B agonist is baclofen. So today's our fifth question is which type of energy bring about UV transition? Option A electronic, option B vibrational, option C rotational, option D all of the above. As we know that all these type brings about UV transition, so our correct answer will be D that is all of the above.